Right, so I'm going to show you how to make a sandwich, if you already don't know. Well, I'm not really going to show you, I'm just going to make a sandwich. I thought it'd be interesting to, well, show you what I do to make my sandwiches. First of all, get some bread, like so. I'm using a really small plate, I really should be doing that, but oh well. Right, so you got that. Um, then what you'll need is a knife. One for cheese, one for everything else. And a chopping board. So we put the bread to one side, put it back in the box. <coughs> like so. Then we get a bread board. Well, not a bread board, but it's a cheese board. It'll do. Then we get cheese, like so. And we simply cut some cheese, like that. First of all, though, I will butter my bread because it makes life easier in the long run. Doesn't need to be much, just a little bit. Don't know why we add butter to bread really. It's a question I've never asked myself. Very philosophical. Why why oh, sir do you add butter to your bread? Well sir, I do not know. An mm, interesting question. We shall ponder. No no one knows, it's just one of those things you do. Like breathe. Like this, right? So you yeah, put your butter on like that. Done. And then you um, right, hold that. And you continue. Just when you cut a piece of cheese, lay it on the bread, and keep doing that until boom, your bread is covered. Very important to cover your bread with cheese. You can leave some gaps, but hell, if your job's worth doing, it's worth doing quickly. No, well, quickly. Right. <laughs> Top gear quotes, jeez. I bet this video gets absolutely no views at all. Guaranteed. Well, right. num piece number two. Like so. Right. So keep cutting your cheese. Like so. You can have it as thick as you want, if you want. You can have it so thin you can see through it. I do for a medium piece. Too thick, it's horrible. Too thin, and well, it's just not worth having. Not at all. Just eat bread by itself with nothing on it. I eat rhyme bread from Germany. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. And it's always important to put your cheese back in the bag. Uh, put the bag back in the fridge, like so. What else? <coughs> oh, it always does that. I hate this fridge. It sucks. Right, once you've done that, ham. Now, I'm sorry if you're Jewish, but a ham and cheese sandwich isn't a ham and cheese sandwich without ham. I'll bring everything back into my site now. Look at that. And you add ham. Depending on how much you want. Just lay it out, like so. Very easy. Perfect, I have just enough ham here. Once you've done that, you can put everything you need back in the fridge. Box in the um, bin if you have some. And then I add lettuce of all kinds. There's purple lettuce, and green lettuce. This is a bit old lettuce, but it'll be fine. Very easy. You add a dollop on because it adds to the flavour. Some people think that you can eat lettuce and it's very healthy for you. It just isn't. Eating quantity. I'm not saying it's not. It's bad for you. I'm saying it's, it's not. Just because you add lettuce to something doesn't instantly make it healthy. Then you take the top of bread. Oh god. That was a failure. And then you do that. Uh, yeah. Put the uh, salad back into the uh, fridge like so. Right. Lay uh, your other piece down. Turn them so they sort of fit on the plate. And uh, take the knife from only the sharp one is normally best at this job. 
and you just cut them in half. You don't have to cut them in half, but it makes them nicer, easy to eat. And I don't do what I'm doing, I'll put my finger underneath the knife because there's no plate there. What happens then is your finger will get cut off, and that's bad. I haven't already guessed. Like so. And uh, that is how you make a uh, perfect sandwich every time. So there. Thank you for watching.